Dallas Cowboys will visit the San Francisco 49ers as two-point favorites on Sunday, October 2nd in a Week 4 NFL game. The Dallas Cowboys' starting quarterback job may not be waiting for Tony Romo when he's ready to return. The emergence of fourth-round draft pick Dak Prescott has given the Cowboys a dual-threat option at the position and has rejuvenated this team. Fans of the San Francisco 49ers can only dream about what might be as they continue to watch Blaine Gabbert stumble under center. The 49ers are ecstatic to be at home after two terrible beatdowns on the road. San Francisco was awful last year, yet they still went 4-4 four four straight up and 5-2 and two against the spread at home. We saw what happened against the Los Angeles Rams in the season opener, and that's why the line opened at San Francisco plus three. Dak Prescott is exactly the type of quarterback that has given the 49ers defense problems this season. Players who can move around in the pocket and extend plays have been San Francisco's kryptonite. A key member of the Cowboys offensive line, Lael Collins will be lost for several weeks with a torn ligament in his foot. Collins rapidly ascended the depth chart and moved into a starting role midway through last season. He's a big reason why Dallas's offensive line was rated the best in the NFL. His loss will not decimate the group with former starter Ronald Leary ready to step in, but it does significantly weaken the depth and another injury down the road could create a domino effect. The San Francisco 49ers have the NFL's 30th ranked pass offense and the group took a hit when Vance McDonald left the game with a hip injury. McDonald is the team's third leading receiver with the team best two scoring grabs. His loss will definitely impact an already weak passing game. When he has the tools to run his up-tempo no-huddle offense, Chip Kelly is one of the best. But with the 49ers, it's like trying to jam a square peg into a round hole. San Francisco does not have a mobile quick quarterback. The backfield is thin behind Carlos Hyde. And outside of Torrey Smith, the receivers are iffy. But Kelly continues to run his tempo game and the defense ends up paying the price when the 49ers cannot convert third downs. Last time out against the Seahawks, the 49ers went more than three quarters of the game before getting their first third down conversion. San Francisco has converted just 34.8% on third down to rank near the bottom of the NFL. Cam Newton helped shred the 49ers for 46 points in a big week two Carolina victory. And Russell Wilson nailed San Francisco to a 30-3 lead before leaving with an injury. Dak Prescott has all the weapons to be successful. Zeke Elliott is a workhorse back. Des Bryant is a gifted receiver. And the offensive line is the best in the game. The Dallas Cowboys have gotten better and more productive in each game. If the 49ers continue to fail extending drives, the defense will get pushed around again, leaving the Cowboys to cover a very manageable two or three point spread. Our pick on this game is the Dallas Cowboys now at minus two. Click over now and check out all the NFL and NCAA football odds on the board and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.